Before beginning with the video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated of my latest videos. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Best of PowerPoint and today I'll be showing you a very creative technique to present your images in your slideshow. Let's have a look what we will be creating today. So there is an image in the slide and we have arrows on both sides of the image. When I click on the right arrow, the next image appears on the slide. Also can you observe those tiny little dots at the bottom of the image. When I move to the next image, the yellow dot also changes its position. And in this effect, not only can we move to the next image, but we can also click the left arrow and move to the previous image. So this is a continuous animation effect that is you can move to the previous image as well as to the next image as long as you want and the animation will not end unless you exit the slideshow. I have inserted five images in this effect and here when I reach the fifth image and click on the right arrow, the animation takes me to the first image of the effect. And in this way, it goes on to repeat itself. So this is really a very useful technique to showcase your product images. And you must have observed this kind of effect on various websites. This animation effect is for intermediate PowerPoint users, which means you must be having some basic knowledge of the PowerPoint software. And specifically, you should be having the knowledge of these two features of PowerPoint, hyperlinks and the morph transition. I have already made a separate video regarding the hyperlinks where I have explained them in detail and I'll be giving the link for the same in the video description below. So please go watch that video first to acquire some basic knowledge of the hyperlinks and then you can come back and resume to this video. Regarding the morph transition, I had recently uploaded a video regarding the top 5 morph animation effects from where you can easily have an idea of this amazing feature of PowerPoint. Again, I have given all the video links in the YouTube show notes below. So now let's begin to create this stunning image animation effect. Open a new slide and first I will insert a background image in my slide. You can choose any desired background. Then insert your first image in the slide and adjust its size and position. One thing which you must take care of is that all the images which are to use in this animation effect must be of same size otherwise the effect will not work and now right click this slide and duplicate the slide because we will be applying the morph transition if you have watched my previous video regarding the morph transition you must be knowing the reason behind duplicating this slide insert your second image in this duplicate slide as i told earlier the images should be of same size and should be completely overlapping with each other. So you can use the crop tool to adjust and resize the images. After you have ensured that the images are now completely overlapping with each other, delete the first image and keep only the second image in this slide. This means that you should be having only one image per slide. And now the process remains the same. Duplicate the slide, insert your third image in the slide, make sure that the images completely overlap with each other and then delete the previous image from the slide. Repeat the process for the other images too.
So once you have inserted all your images in the slides, it's time to apply the morph transition to all the slides. Reduce the duration of the transition to one second. Let's see what we have achieved so far. All right. So this is the basic animation effect and to make it look more dramatic, we need to add some elements. First, I will add this left arrow image in the slide. You can download it from the description box below or else you can search it on Google and download any desired infographic arrow icon from the Google. Then rotate this image and place it at the right side of the image. You can see that PowerPoint automatically shows me the grid lines while placing these infographic images so that they can be placed in proper alignment. Now select both these arrows and copy paste these elements to all the other slides. And here comes the most important part of this tutorial. We need to add hyperlinks to the arrows which we have inserted. The right arrow will have a hyperlink to the next slide or image and the left arrow will have a hyperlink to the previous slide or image. Let me just practically show this to you. For example, in this first slide, I will select my right arrow, right click on it and choose hyperlink. Then I will select place in the document and from here I will hyperlink this arrow to slide 2 that is our next slide in the presentation. Similarly, I will hyperlink my left arrow to the fifth slide since this is my first slide so the last slide in this presentation will act as its previous slide. Now move on to slide 2. Hyperlink the right arrow to slide 3 and the left arrow to slide 1. Follow the same process for the other slides too, hyperlink the right arrow to the next slide and the left arrow to the previous slide. For the last slide, hyperlink the right arrow to the first slide so that the animation continues to repeat itself, as explained in the beginning. Alright, let's add some more elements to make it look more dramatic. Click on insert tab and insert a rectangle at the bottom of the image as shown. Change its color to black. Right click and open the format shape option and reduce the transparency to about 70%. Then insert a small circle like this and duplicate it to make 5 such circles. Place them in the center of the slide. Change the color of the first circle to yellow and the colors of the remaining circles to white. Then copy paste these circles to the other slides. Change the circle color in each of the slides. For example, in the second slide, the color of the second circle shall be yellow and that of the remaining ones shall be white. Similarly, in the third slide, the third circle is of yellow color and the others are white and so on. And repeat the same process for the other slides. Finally, you can also add some text to your images and the animation effect is now ready to be presented to your audience. You can see that the yellow dots are automatically changing their position as we change the slides because we have applied 
morph transition to our slides so that's it guys i hope that this video was helpful to you please like and share the video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks for watching and see you in my next video